I think I've always been quite mathematical, if I'm honest. I think when I was at school, I really liked doing maths because of, it was almost like having puzzles. I liked the idea of learning a set of rules and then trying to find the answer in a set of problems that you, you knew how to solve, but just the route to solve them wasn't necessarily completely clear. And then as I progressed a bit further and understood a bit more about what mathematics is and what it's about, I really became attracted to just how clean and elegant it was as a subject, the neatness of it, if you like. And then even further still, so after doing my maths degree and you know my PhD, the thing I like about maths now is just how creative it is, just how you can construct these marvellous imaginary worlds using it as a language, but also just how powerful it is as a language and how articulate it is and capable of really describing the world around us in a way that, that normal language has no hope of doing. It was an accident that led me into popularising that. I like to say that it's a series of circumstances that conspired in my favour. Um, I, uh, somebody had a slot at a stand-up comedy night that they persuaded me to do. So I thought the only thing I could possibly do would be uh, um, to talk about something that I knew about. So I decided to do a little stand-up set about networks. It was very, very silly, absolutely terrible. <laughs> Not even remotely amusing. But essentially one thing led to another. Somebody saw me at that night and asked me to do another talk and I was asked to do another talk. And now, I mean, I have done hundreds and hundreds of, of talks now, uh, just beginning to get to the point where I feel like I might know roughly what I'm doing. But it's just the more that uh, I, the more talks and so on and bits that I do, the more that people ask me to do. And I think that there is this real appetite for the playful, joyful side of mathematics that I don't think always comes across. Um, I think it's really unfair, the reputation that, that maths has, and I don't think it deserves it. And I think that anything that, that really reveals just how engaging and counterintuitive and surprising it can be as a subject is always a good thing. Um, I tend to pick quite silly examples <laughs> in the stuff that I do, but they're the ones that I find amusing. So, The response generally has been pretty good. I think sometimes you have to play the long game inevitably if you're doing um, if you're trying to get as much maths as you can on TV, which is really my only motivation. So sometimes things don't quite work out being as mathematical as you'd want them to be necessarily. But I think that generally just having a positive association with maths uh, or a mathematician, whoever it is, uh, and being shown in a positive light, I think that's, in, in the long run, I think that, that's only ever a good thing. So yeah, I mean, I'm still quite new to it, to be honest, in terms of doing stuff on TV, so, or, or books or, you know, big talks and so on. It's only really been going on for a couple of years, but um, yeah, lots more I want to do. Uh, a few people have sent me wonderful messages online. I've had emails from, uh, the ones I, I really value the most actually are from teenage girls uh, who yeah, send me messages that they've seen me in this or, or watched me in this YouTube video or, or whatever. And uh, it's kind of given them the confidence to, to go on and do more things. I mean, I think personally, there's, there's, there's an awful lot of really brilliant uh, communicators, mass communicators in the UK at the moment. And I think collectively together, I really feel like we're all making a big difference.